Hello and welcome to the Book Club on the Go, a podcast for book lovers like you. Whether you're a busy commuter, an adventurous traveler, or just looking for a book club community to join, we've got you covered. In today's video, I will discuss one of the most critically acclaimed books in recent years, Sacred Games by Vikram Chandra. This book explores the city of Mumbai with its underworld, corruption, and religion. The novel has two protagonists, Sartaj Singh, a jaded police inspector, and Ganesh Gaitonde, a notorious gangster. The plot begins with Gaitonde calling Singh and informing him about an impending catastrophic event in Mumbai in the next 25 days. The narrative jumps between Singh's investigation to trace Gaitonde's phone call and his past and Gaitonde's rags-to-riches story of becoming the godfather of Mumbai's underworld. Singh must work against the clock to uncover the plot while facing obstacles from corrupt colleagues and politicians. Meanwhile, Gaitonde's past and rise to power are chronicled through flashbacks, revealing his connection to influential figures in Mumbai's criminal underworld. The story builds to a gripping climax as Singh and Gaitonde's paths finally cross, leading to a shocking finale. As the investigation progresses, the reader is taken on a journey that uncovers the dark secrets of Mumbai's criminal and political world and the influential players behind it all. In this novel, Mumbai City serves as a crucial backdrop for the story, with its chaotic energy and sprawling slums contrasting with the opulence of the wealthy elite. The book explores the intersection of organized crime, corruption, and politics in the city, with a cast of characters representing all facets of Mumbai society. The story moves between different neighborhoods and social strata, giving readers a glimpse into the many layers of this complex and diverse city. Overall, the setting and background of sacred games play a significant role in shaping the themes and tone of the novel. Sacred Games by Vikram Chandra is a complex and multi-layered novel that explores corruption, power, and morality themes. The book portrays Mumbai as a city full of paradoxes, where the lines between good and evil are often blurred. Through the stories, this novel offers a searing critique of Indian society, politics, and culture. Chandra's masterful use of language and structure underscores the novel's thematic concerns as he weaves together multiple narratives, timelines, and perspectives. The desire for power often drives the characters, whether it be through money, politics, or criminal activity. Their actions are fueled by the corrupt systems around them, where those in power use their status to manipulate and control those beneath them. The book also highlights the ripple effects of such corruption, where even everyday citizens are impacted by the actions of those in positions of authority. Dinesh Gaitonde, a notorious gangster, grapples with his place in society and his Hindu identity. On the other hand, Sartaj Singh, a police officer, feels alienated from the police force due to his Sikh background. Throughout the novel, the characters' struggles with their identity and place in society are accentuated by the rich setting of Mumbai, a city full of diverse cultures and identities. Ultimately, the characters learn that true belonging comes from accepting oneself and others and finding a way to coexist in a complex and changing world. The theme of good versus evil is central to the plot. As the lines between good and evil become increasingly blurred, the characters must grapple with difficult choices and decide how far they will go to achieve their goals. Ultimately, Sacred Games portrays a world in which no one is entirely good or evil, and the line between the two is often razor thin. In conclusion, Vikram Chandra's Sacred Games provides a vivid and complex portrayal of Mumbai's criminal underworld and the city's social and political landscape. Despite its length, the novel maintains momentum, combining action-packed scenes with philosophical musings on the nature of existence. Overall, Sacred Games is a compelling and engaging read that offers a unique and multifaceted perspective of modern-day India. Additionally, given the current popularity and interest in Indian literature, Chandra's work could spark a renewed interest in Indian literature and encourage similar works to gain recognition and success in the literary world. I hope you enjoyed this summary. Let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up 
and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell so you get notified when we post a new video. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.